You see this garden path brick looking text effect right here? This is what I'll be showing you in the next few minutes. Stick around if you want to be enlightened. Alright, let's get started. Put the file in new. I'm going to start off with the width of 800 pixels. By 400 pixels tall. Hit OK. And we're going to uh, paint the background a brickish color. So grab the paint bucket and uh, hit, hit the color palette. And this is, I'm going to give you the HTML code for this uh, brick color. It's D4. 3D 1A. There we go. Yeah, we brick. We breaking it out right now. Yeah, here we go. Right, grab the type tool. We're gonna set the color a little bit darker in the background so we can see. All right, okay. Now I have mine set at impact regular 150 point sharp. I'm gonna type in my uh, production company name as always. Just like in the other uh, 10 tutorials or something like that. I can't remember how many I have. Alright, here we go. Let's get this down here. I'm going to rasterize the type. And I want you to uh, create a new layer. And I want you to control click. To control click on the type to select it. Now we're going to gradialize this type. Linear gradient. And I want your gradient colors to be black to transparent and be similar to this one. Alright, just gradialize it a little bit. There we go. Gradialize. Now I want you to hit Control D. Deselect. And now flatten the image. And we're going to go up to uh, Filter. Go down to Texture. Patchwork. Oh, yeah, here's the the brick path looking effect. Eee. I'm rocking out with a square size of 4 and a leaf of 13. Hit OK. Hey, it looks just like a brick path, doesn't it? But now we're getting ready to add some age to it. So, go down here to, uh, to the layer, add a new layer. And we're going to fill it with black. Grab the paint bucket. Let's fill this with black. Bam! Go up to filter, add no noise. Let's Noise, add noise, and have the amount of 4.8%. Gaussian and monochromatic. Hit OK. What we want to do is play with the opacity. Uh, whoa, whoa, it's looking very old. It's looking older. It's looking 10 years older. 10 years older. It's 10, 10 years older. In a matter of seconds, I want you to flatten the image. Flatten the image and start erasing out. But, whoa, whoa, hey, that's not right. Play like undo that, undo eraser, undo the flat image. Don't flat. There we go. There we go. Now start erasing. While the layers are uh, separated, I'm sorry about that. That's got an enemy. I don't usually mess up. Yeah, here we go. Oh man, look at the look at the contrast now. Now you can tell we pressure washed our uh, our garden walkway. Ten years. Seconds. Seconds old. Ten years old. Right, there we go. Now we can flatten the image. But we're not done yet. That's looking beautiful, but we're not done yet. Go up to filter, render, render some lighting effects. There you, go. you can place the lighting effect wherever you like. I'm going to place it right above the the L. And the settings are default, omni, intensity 36, uh, the gloss. I'm going to set that at 28. Material 100 and ambience at 8. Oh, look at that! That is beautiful. That's beautiful. Hey, thank you all for watching. Comment, subscribe, and if you have any suggestions, remember let me know. I always have room to improve. Thank you for watching. Have a happy YouTube and day.